obviously uh, when you make any sort of swing changes, scoring and such like on the course can be mysterious at best. So I'm not expecting much tomorrow, but I am continuing with the move from the top that kind of just does this to initiate at this without it going. Um, I've been very close to what I've been looking for. My alignment system that I've been looking at, for the railway lines, I was correct with what I was thinking that they were in the wrong place and that they needed to be further out. And after watching the four corners, um, which has been covered by a number of instructors, um, Mike Malaska um, covers it probably better than any other instructor from a pro back in the 1920s, 30s. That does make sense with the alignment line on your hands. And the fact that this has to happen here to drop it and come round on line, which I have been doing in a same eye closed position. So I'm definitely very close to what I need to be doing. And ball striking has improved. And control, face control. So it's just a case of hanging in there and progressing and just letting it happen. My handicap might fluctuate a little until it clicks, but I don't feel it's far away, and that's the key. I don't think it's far away. Swing and scoring are so far apart. Scoring is a completely different thing altogether when you're on the golf course. Going low, not being afraid to go low, etc. You know, um, shooting for birdies, shooting at the opportunities that you have. If you are out of position, then you start looking at defensive options. But good news is it's not far away. Um, and uh, when you, you look at the likes of Terrell Hatton and people like that, I'm nowhere near as good as Terrell Hatton. But you just wonder what's going on in a player as good as him in his mind when a caddy's telling him it's a five iron and he hits the six and ends up, couldn't hit it any better. It's just, he's tried to hit it so hard, he's overdrawn it at the 11th and then the Masters went in the war because he didn't take on board what his caddy was saying, which that's a strange one for me because got to like bounce ideas off each other at the end of the day he's the one hitting the shot but um, we'll leave it at that I mean uh, you know you can't guess what a player's thinking uh, I just think he tries to control things a bit too much on the golf course uh, if that's possible to do that instead of playing freer which he probably does in practice rounds and he probably goes low so he's got to kind of switch on off more I think but that's just hey, that's my opinion and it's probably not worth much But so thanks for watching channels off a charity as you know Macmillan, Help the Heroes, Shelter UK all the ad revenue here goes to charity, so subscribe really helps. A few of you have uh, new subscribers, so welcome to the channel. It's a journey uh, of myself trying to get better at golf, basically, and uh, control what everyone tends to think is quite hard to do consistently. Anyway, thanks for watching.